Hello and welcome to the Philippines. This is a uh, motorbike ride. This is a hotel we stayed in in Ubay. And we're going to head towards Tubagon. We're going to go through a number of uh, towns t along the way. I can tell you that I have a new appreciation for the island of Bohol in the Philippines after spending uh, seven days by motorbike traveling around the island. Pretty much went around the circumference as close to the sea as we could get in most cases. The roads were very good uh, many places that we were at and a uh, uh, little bit of construction some places. Uh, many of the roads even have shoulders. There were a few sections that they actually had four lane traffic for short distances. And uh, like here when you get into construction zone you don't have a lot of the uh, traffic enforcers. You don't have uh, flaggers out there stopping traffic. Uh, people just have to look ahead and when uh, traffic clears from one direction uh, you're free to go. And uh, you don't get a lot of the road rage. You might get back in uh, the USA and some other western countries perhaps. People share the road. They use the shoulder. If there's two lanes they make it three lanes. They move over and let people use the middle area to uh, to pass. We come upon a number of infrastructure projects and uh, last couple of years and into the many years in the future we're in a program called Build, Build, Build to try to uh, put in a lot of infrastructure projects, uh, more roads, more rail. And uh, my understanding is that it is a little bit behind schedule. The main reason being that there's a lack of skilled workers in the Philippines. Many of the skilled workers go overseas for much better pay. Uh, so that is an issue. Now there's a road going off to a lot of houses down in that area. A little skinny sidewalk. Yeah. I think our speed on the motorbike averaged between 40 kilometers per hour and 50 kilometers per hour, occasionally 60 kilometers per hour. So, so we averaged uh, about uh, 25 to 35, 40 miles per hour, which isn't real fast, but it was comfortable pace. There was two of us on the motorbike uh, and we had three bags with us. It was a scooter type and automatic so we were able to put the two bags down in, in front of the driver and it was a tight fit but they fit in there. Gave you a little bit of room still to put your feet on the edge of the uh, foot stand on there and then uh, the passenger had, uh, had one of the bags flung over their back and uh, one thing I noticed is that when I'm driving, I felt like I was going a lot faster than I was really going. When I was the passenger, it felt like we were going a lot slower. And I complained about that until I, I looked up at the speedometer. And sure enough, to my surprise, she was driving just as fast as I had been driving. <laughs> but it just feels like it's a lot slower when you're behind. I was complaining. I said, we're going to get, somebody's going to run into the our, our back. You're driving too slow. That's interesting. Different areas that you go to, uh, different types of uh, trees. Like these trees were really interesting. They all, almost looked like evergreen, but they weren't. Not sure what they were. Uh, somebody gave me a name, but uh, somebody will comment and let me know what they are. Anyway, lots of rice fields, even some areas uh, really interesting. In more hilly areas, you see terraced rice fields, and I thought that was just in certain areas, but uh, terracing is uh, practiced throughout the Philippines. Uh, not the real high mountain terraces that you see in, in some of the areas, but terraces and uh, you know, guys like that, a lot of people traveling much faster than we were out there. And we were traveling probably average speed. Uh, we were regularly passing just as many people who were passing us. I am showing various clips from uh, different areas. Gives you a uh, little bit of an idea of, 
the layout and uh, the buildings, the businesses, the little towns and cities, uh, the traffic, the transportation. We stopped many places to explore a little bit and uh, pretty much everybody was friendly, happy, smiling. Uh, some areas they don't see as many foreigners as other areas. And uh, here we're just going through the little town of Hatafi. And they have a pier and a small little ferry service there. Goes over to Cebu City as well. Probably a couple other places. And uh, one thing I noticed going around the island is that uh, different areas, many, many quite nice houses, large and appear to be well built, well taken care of and maintained, lots of uh, newer vehicles, and uh, gives you an idea of the growing middle class here in the Philippines, middle class and upper class. In some areas like Ubay, the town of Ubay, which is relatively large, uh, not as many people were were real easy with their with their English. They would prefer to talk to my Filipino friend instead of speaking English to me. And I would I would occasionally ask if if they spoke English, and sometimes they'd just give me a, a funny look and continue talking with my friend instead of answering my question. So they're just not used to using, you know, use it or lose it, any language all around the world. Uh, people learn languages, if they don't use it, they lose it. Mangrove area. This was a mangrove area off to our right. We're pretty close to the sea right in this area. And, uh, there was a kind of a conservation uh, area, a ecotourism area that went, went off into a area, big area of uh, mangroves further down the road. We did not take the time to go walk, uh, walk through that area, which we would have. Uh, but anyway, a little bit about, about Bohol. Uh, Bohol, the main island, is uh, surrounded by 75 minor islands. The coastline is about 261 kilometers or 162 miles and it is the 10th largest island in the Philippines. Boholanos, Boholanos, however you pronounce that, same language as uh, the Cebuanos, people from Cebu, Basaya language, uh, but they are, have a conscious distinction, says Wiki, Wikipedia. One thing that I've heard from different people is that they tend to be much more conservative there. I think the video makes it look like we're going a little bit faster than we really are, but going into that construction area was a little faster than I was comfortable with, so I was asking her to slow down a bit, but uh, anyway, no events. Hello. Looks like coconut something, some parts of coconut drying there, and uh, all around the island, different places, there is uh, rice. Rice is the big thing you find drying on the side of the road. And uh, the coconut shells are different parts of coconut that they dry out there. And there is a 
One thing about coconut, uh, everybody will tell you they use every part of the coconut. And the coconut plant and tree is usable for something. Uh, everything from food uh, to animal feed to uh, uh, making charcoal, I think sometimes they use brooms. I have heard from guys who've lived on uh, the whole island that in the, in the last uh, several years there's many more foreigners living in many of those areas. Uh, I think there's a guy who lives up, up, up near Hatafi, in fact. I think he was saying when he first moved there about uh, oh, probably 15 years ago or so. For many, many years he was almost the only one around. And the last number of years you've seen a uh, marked increase in, in uh, foreigners moving into town. People from uh, Europe, America, Canada, Canadian Americans, U.S. Americans, probably South Americans, and I certainly don't want to leave out Central Americans. You know, many, many people here and around the world, when they say American, they think you're talking about the USA. And uh, <laughs> bothers a lot of people that aren't from the USA when you call yourself American. But that's just kind of the facts of life. Me being a, uh, having a major in geography and history, it also bothers me. I hate, I hate using and describing myself as American. I'm, a, I'm from the USA. And a lot of times, and the people will say, oh, you're American. Well, yes, I am. And of course, most people know that uh, Bahol has the famous Chocolate Hills, uh, more in the center of the island. We didn't go through that area. They have the Tarsiers, one of the smallest primates in the world, the smallest in Southeast Asia, I believe. And uh, Panglao Island, just outside of uh, Tegblaren City. It's oftentimes uh, listed in the top 10 dive locations in the world. Driving in uh, Bohol or any other island, I'm sure, in the Philippines or probably around the world, you have to be very vigilant, very careful, because uh, there are virtually no stop signs that I've ever seen. Uh, there are a few stoplights in some of the bigger cities. People will do U-turns. They will do the unexpected. They will they will do, do U-turns and... I uh, know of a couple instances. I know a guy, I think he was from Finland. He, he was over on Bahol a couple years ago with a motorbike going around. And uh, some kids come running out, bumped into the motorbike. Nobody got hurt, but the neighbors who were taking care of the kids, watching the kids, uh, insisted on calling the police. And uh, no, like I said, no damage was done, but by the time he was finished, he had to pay like 10,000 pesos, about 200 US dollars, uh, to be able to go on his way on down the road. So just be aware of that. If, if you're in any kind of accident, you're probably gonna have to pay. Someone asked me about uh, how many hospitals are there on Bahol, and I just looked it up, and I, I did not count them. Now here's another river going out to the ocean. Uh, but back to hospitals. Um, there, there are many towns and cities. Uh, Tegbalern City has the most hospitals. And we're going to take a left up here. Uh, Average number of beds per hospital seemed to be a low of 10 beds in one or two hospitals, uh, 15, 16, 20 beds was much more common, up to 25 beds. So there were a few hospitals with 50 to 75 beds. And there was one hospital in Tagblair and listed at 225 beds. As far as the capabilities of each, uh, each hospital, I don't know. And I, I suspect that uh, anything serious you're going to be sent to Cebu City. Uh, another case that I know of a couple of years ago, I believe a guy that lived in uh, or near, lived near Tagbalaran City and uh, had appendicitis, appendix burst, and he went to the, one of the Tagbalaran hospitals. They determined they did not 
did not or could not uh, deal with it. And they sent him with a nurse, I believe, by ferry uh, a couple of hours back over to Cebu City. I know that I've stopped at uh, one of the little towns I stopped here. They had an infirmary, and the biggest thing they deal with is animal bites. Uh, anything serious, you're going to have to go to a, a hospital in a bigger city, I'm sure. So that is something to think about. Something that happened uh, very recently, it's the election season here. Uh, somebody who was helping, uh, I think, a mayoral candidate, electioneer over on Mactan Island across from Cebu City, was shot in the stomach and went to a hospital there on Mactan, uh, probably government hospital, and it was determined that he should be sent over across the river or across the... Uh, the channel over to Cebu City to a hospital over here. They had a an ambulance there, but they didn't have a driver for the ambulance. So the story I read was that somebody put him in their private vehicle, took him across over here, and I'm not sure how that ever ended up in the end. I've uh, heard that he was recovering, and I've heard that he did not recover. So if you're concerned about health issues being close to a hospital, that would probably be something to consider. If you lived in any part of Bahol, you're probably not very far away from a town, a city that uh, would supply you with most of your needs, your foods, your groceries. Uh, Tagblaren City uh, is the big city, of course, and uh, you would probably make a trip down there uh, once a month or every couple of weeks, depending upon your needs. It's easy enough. You can travel by bus, or uh, they also also have lots of V-hires over here traveling. But we passed a lot of buses on the way, and that's relatively cheap to travel that way. All right, here we're going to use Google Earth, and I'm going to show you where we're going here. Let's go into Tubagon, Bahol, the Philippines. Ubai, and one thing I think you will find when using uh, many of these mapping things is uh, I don't believe that all the information is accurate. Ubai, I think uh, this might be the province of Ubai, I'm not positive, but Ubai, actually this is Ubai Airport it shows here, and what does this show? Another Ubai Airport. I suspect that they're not both Ubai airports. There probably are not two airports. I may be wrong about that, uh, but I think people are allowed to just put place markers on this map, and it's never really checked. Uh, you know, there's probably tens of thousands, millions of people putting place markers all over the uh, the Google Maps, and uh, nobody goes in to replace it. So somebody decided it was here, somebody decided it was over here. Anyway, on this particular day, we're taking a motorbike trip, and uh, a little bit about my trip. We took uh, rented a motorbike for about seven days, and uh, we went around Panglao Island, which is on the on the very south of uh, out, out just across from uh, Tegblaren City, and uh, went out there one day, and then we rented a motorbike for six more days uh, to go around pretty much the outside of. Bohol Island, and I have a new appreciation for Bohol Island. They have a lot to offer there, a lot of things, and I'll show you where we're going on this particular day. Let's move this over here a bit, and we're pretty much going from Ubai, someplace in here, and we're going up around as close as I can, pretty much to the coast. Uh, we go through Taliban, and uh, this was a very good road, uh, pretty much all the way couple of places where there was a little bit of construction, but that wasn't bad at all either. And so we went to Taliban, over to, there's a, to Hatafi, a town over here, Hatafi. Also has a, a terminal you can get. A, a smaller ferry from Hatafi, it's called G-E-T-F-E, I believe. And you can go across here over to Cebu City. I did that a couple of years ago. Uh, so you don't have to go all the way down to take Blair and City down here in the lower left-hand corner. 
is where a lot of the faster ferries and, and the large ferries go to. But there are a couple of other ports, and there's a port in Tubagon over here also. Anyway, this motorbike trip uh, uh, for this video, we, we go up to Taliban, over through Hatafi, and up pretty close to the coast to Tubagon. And uh, that where is where it will end. It may be a little longer uh, video, uh, and I will show you something else while I'm over here. After we left Tubagon, wandered around there, we ate there. There's a it's a little bit larger uh, city. They had a McDonald's there, and I was I wanted some coffee. McDonald's has coffee, so that worked out. There's another island over here. I saw a sign as we were traveling down here, and uh, pretty sure this is the name of the island. Anyway, there was a sign on the road. It said, Island Treasure Resort. Uh, so we turned around, went around back down that road. I figured it was only going to be, uh, you know, two, three, four kilometers. Anyway, it's uh, quite a ride out there, interesting ride out there. And there is a, I don't know if this is it or not. No, there is a beach, there's a number of beach resorts out here. Uh, there's one out here called Island Treasure. And then there are a few resorts back over here. One very nice resort, the dive resort. And that's not it, but uh, not everything is listed on these maps. But I'll do another video about that because just that, that trip out on that island and finding a few things was quite interesting. As a matter of fact, there was a section of that island out here that has been without water uh, for over a month, I believe. Uh, part of the drought situation we have here. Anyway, let's get back to the video. We decided to take a break in Clarion, very close to Tubagon. And uh, interesting place. They've got a place up here where a lot of people stop to pick up the bus or the V-hire as they come by. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Please share the video. And uh, safe travels to you all wherever you're at. And we'll see you next time. There were lots of gas stations, petrol stations out here, so we didn't have any problem with the uh, fuel.